Hey there, survivors, it's Razius, and this is Ark Survival Evolved. Today, I just wanted to go through some of the patch updates that have been going through recently with the new version 233 and the 234, which added some greenhouse requirements, switching to stones so people can actually get them a little bit easier on the primitive servers from the new armor I'm currently wearing with the riot armor, as well as the Gallimimus with its three-seater saddle, electric prod, and just some of the different things going on as well as what's to come, and just wanted to discuss that a little bit and my thoughts on it. So first off, we would go with the Gallimimus, which is currently in front of me, if you want to take a look at it. It is a somewhat lower level, easier to tame um, herbivore. I Let's see if I can find the survival guide on it. There we are. So let's just view this dossier a little bit. Gallimimus Evalox, late. Cretaceous period. It's a herbivore, and it does have a skittish personality where if it's attacked, it will continuously run. It is very fast and very hard to hit, so having a friend is highly recommended for this. Wild, when someone asks me what the fastest creature is on the islands are, Gallimimus is always a contender. Unlike the island's many armored animals, Gallimimus eschews strong defenses for the ability to run, outrun pretty much anything. A skittish herbivore, Gallimimus even looks nervous when eating a peaceful, clear meadow. Having no real way to harm predators, it simply runs away and uses its uh, agility to stay safe. I've even seen wild Gallimimus outrun speed trained Utah Raptors. So pretty much fastest thing on the island as long as you don't have a lot of weight. So my initial thought to this once tamed, you'd probably want to raise health so it can withstand hits, but raise its speed maybe even more and weight so you can actually haul some stuff since having three people fully geared out would be kind of heavy and weigh it down to where it wouldn't have no speed. Um, domesticated, there are two general camps that are of use when tamed Gallimimus. One camp thinks that their inability to act actually harm hostile creatures and their ability, inability to harvest most resources make them primarily a burden to the tribe. The other camp thinks that their extreme speed and ability to jump long distances is among the best for the scouting and exploring or just making a quick getaway, which I agree it does have an incredibly high jumping rate and it is very fast on its speed. Against even the McCall Raptor, which is the modded Raptor from Rainbow Zoo, which has almost 250% speed on the regular Utah Raptors, it can keep up pretty quick as a uh, main vanilla type dinosaur in the game. So, moving on, the three seat saddle looks like pretty good meshing render to wrap around it, pretty good. I believe the devs did really well on this. And the main rider would ride in the center while the other two, the back one, rides backwards and the front one rides forwards. And they can actually wield their weapons and fire while you're moving, which is really good if you have a friend with you to get away and have cover while you're getting away. The saddle is made in the smithy as it does take metal. So looking at that, we will go ahead and sort out it. To have this saddle, you'll need 240 hide, 160 fiber, 120 wood and 25 metal ingots that's n pretty decent and the saddle is unlocked at level 30 along around the tier area of the metal shield amongst the other things there um moving on to the riot armor that will be made in the fabricator as it is a larger tier it is stronger than the chitin armor however weaker than the flak armor as far as damage goes but it does have somewhat more durability to go with it the first piece would be, we'll just look at some of the riot pieces. Chest piece, 70 polymer, which can be altered with the organic polymer from penguins. The best way to do that would be using your primitive club, which is one of the first things you're able to learn at level two or three, I believe, which can get you 20 to 50 per kill of the penguin. So that is a very good way. Other, th other creatures can gather the organic polymer however clubs are definitely the way to go for that from all my research and experience myself and then there's 40 silica pearls 10 hide and four fiber for the chest moving on 70 polymer for the pants with 40 silica 12 hide five fiber your shields should you choose to make it would be 120 polymer 
200 crystals, 120 silica pearls, and 40 metal ingots, and the lack of use of a actual two-handed weapon such as a gun, so I personally wouldn't recommend it because the higher level tier swords aren't necessarily available in the game yet, so that's actually somewhat of a hindrance if you don't have a single weapon that could really mess with it. Okay, and so we will do with the helmet now. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I can find it real fast. Armor. Riot armor. I don't think I finished learning them. That would have been my error. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I have them down there. Yeah, it looks like I did not finish actually learning them. You would need them at a very high level, I believe, but um, hold on. Since it is my server, I am going to do this for the benefit of learning. So we can actually get the rest of the riot items at this point in time. Okay, for the helmet you need 50 polymer, 25 silica pearls, 7 hide, 3 fiber, 35 crystals, boots, 30 polymer, 18 silica pearls, 6 hide, 4 fiber, Gloves, 25 polymer, 15 silica pearls, 5 high, 2 fiber. And that would be the complete set of the riot gear. You also receive in the 233 patch the electric prod, which is a damaging item. It only does actually one damage for the actual physical damage, but it does over 200 to 250 from my study on... Uh, torpor while bypassing all fortitude aspects to it. It takes 120 polymer, 130 metal, 120 electronics, 70 cementing paste, 120 crystal, and 15 angler gel. The angler gel is basically its power source for getting it, and though it does look like a lot of items, it's that's just the initial cost, whereas once it's made, it is a one-time use item before it breaks, so having multiple ones is slightly advised to that, but it only takes eight angler gels and the fabricator to repair it after the initial make, so that kind of makes up for a lot of that. Okay. And with this update, there are greenhouses, which add a um, additional greenhouse effect to your crop plots now. I don't currently have that made. I might make that in another video. Should you want to see it, please leave a comment in the, down below, and I will take a look into actually making that for you so you can take a look at it. Other things just kind of to touch base on would be the deep sea loot crates, which you can watch some of the other videos from XB Crafted who went around and searched a few of them. They look a lot like the cave loot, but at the bottom of the ocean. And then with that, I believe that's everything with the new stuff. Going on looking at some of the future things, we have the upcoming patch with, it looks like... With the upcoming version of 235, which would be next week sometime, we will have the Terror Bird with some grappling hooks. That should be interesting. I will definitely do a video on that. Tribe Alliances will be added unless it gets pushed out again. I mean, it's been pushed out twice. Let's be realistic with that. I I mean, Wildcar is really good about pushing out their uh, things and making sure they work, which I do appreciate rather than having a lot of buggy things. The one time things were actually on time, everything pr completely broke and left the game unplayable for about two days. So... And then by this time, uh, by this time next week, all the items should be in the master ID, ID array, so you, less use for blueprints if you do on your own server and want to spawn things in. Yeah. And then further out on 236, which will be the week of February 15th, you'll have your giant beaver. Uh, the first three bosses and their boss arenas will be implemented into the main game. Snow and swamp caves, server and more server performance and breeding mechanics phase two rolling out. The rest of the February looks like they're relaunching Survival of the Fittest to be, hold its own application with increased performance, matchmaking, ELO ratings, item rewards, and everything like that. Basically making its own game and keeping it separate from the main game and allowing a little bit more competition. And I, that looks like it's more of an aim towards the esports scene with um, CSGO and League of Legends and things like that to offer rewards on the big stage. And with that, you'll have your tri member rankings and customizable per, uh, customizable per rank privileges in game. There will be more creatures, gear, armors, weapons, and structures, obviously, which they 
are pretty good about rolling out constant new content to keep people interested, and along with the tech caves, ascension game progressions, amongst many other things, and the aquatic amphibious mating life cycles with that as well. And other, looks like other optimizations will be coming with that too. Let's see if I have anything for the greenhouse or how it's even made. Do, 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 do. Looks like it's made with stone, but I don't think I actually have anything for it. Oh, I do have it made. It is made at the smithy. So let's go ahead and check out what items are needed for the greenhouse. I didn't think I actually had them learned, but I do have my ingrams updated to, with my level to 104 in the server, I do have majority of the ingrams unlock. I increase the ingram count per level, so getting quite a bit there. I, I do need to do it a little bit more obviously since I don't have the right items and I wanted to make a server that actually allowed for every Ingram so you could actually play solo without much need of a mind white tonic. So for your greenhouse windows you'll need one metal, three crystal, and one cementing paste. Um, five metal for the door frame, 20 crystal, five cementing paste. Four metal for the sloped, 15 crystal, four cementing paste. It looks like it's pretty low need and everything like that but it looks like the next patch coming out they changed the ingram requirements to stone first as stone versus uh metal so you can actually make them on the premium server since metal is a advanced tech structure type deal but make it in the smithy probably is one of those main things but with that, that is the conclusion of the majority of the updates. If you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that, please leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer anything. If you like the video, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. And also, if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. All the support and everything is greatly helpful. And have a wonderful day.